Welcome back to The Real Story. Two blockbusters being shut out by Hollywood award shows so far. And the films have a similar underlying theme, both on broken and American sniper, pro-American patriotic movies. And they were both snubbed by the Screen Actors Guild Awards and the Golden Globes. Angelina Jolie's Unbroken, about an American soldier brutally treated at a Japanese prison camp during World War II. American Sniper, directed by Clint Eastwood, is the story of former Navy SEAL Chris Kyle, the most lethal sniper in American military history. Joining me now, Justin Craig, Fox 411 movie critic. All right. So do people have a point here that patriotic movies about the American fighting spirit that they're automatically snubbed because of Hollywood bias? I don't think that's true that they're snubbed at all. I mean, we've seen The Hurt Locker uh, nominated just a couple years ago, and Catherine Bigelow won Best Director, first female director ever to win an Oscar. So I don't think that it's, it's you know, any kind of noticeable bias. We have war films up all the time nominated for Oscars and various awards, Golden Globe, SAG. Well, it's interesting because a lot of critics do believe, though, that Bradley Cooper, who plays Chris Kyle in American Sniper, and I have to say that I just watched this film, does an amazing job. You actually believe that it's Chris Kyle, which is the point of being a great actor, right? Absolutely, and I agree that Bradley Cooper was phenomenal in this movie, and he really should have been up nominated at least for a SAG award. Uh, but the SAG committee, the voting committee, they, it's just a tough year for, for actors. There's so many, so much talent, and he just I don't think there's any bias with the SAG voting committee uh, against Bradley Cooper or against American Sniper or against Clint Eastwood's uh, pro-American film. I, I just think that it's just a tough year for men leads. It's interesting because, you know, everyone knows Clint Eastwood's politics as well. Yeah. So you add that into the mix on top of the fact that it's a patriotic film. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think, what has people questioning a little bit. Now, what about the Golden Globes? Because you say that the Hollywood Foreign Press runs them. Right. So they consist of about 100 members. They're all foreign journalists, so no Americans. So they're the ones that are watching these American films and voting on what they consider to be the best of the year. And then these journalists are in countries from like China, Japan, Japan, Taiwan, all over. And so why are they even voting on American films? It's like beginning? us voting on the BAFTAs, you know, in England. So it, it's it really doesn't make sense. The Golden Globes aren't really considered, you know, the, the creme de creme of, of oh. award seasons. It, yeah, it's for actors to get together well, and drink. <laughs> well, well, two things, though. In the past, they were sort of a precursor to the Academy Awards, That's which will true. be announced on January 15th. But now that people know that they're being awarded by foreign you know, journalists, maybe they just don't understand how strong our patriotism is here. That's true. But, you know, the Golden Globes aren't necessarily a precursor to who's going to be nominated for an Oscar. SAG, yes. The, uh, the majority of voters for, uh, for Oscar voters are actors, so that's SAG. So whoever is nominated for SAG awards will most likely be in there for an Oscar. But I do believe that Clint Eastwood would be nominated for Best Director you do. for American Sniper, yes, for an Oscar, yes. All right. What I about Bradley Cooper? Um, no, because he wasn't nominated for a SAG award. All right. Very interesting. We'll have to see how it all plays out. Justin, thank you. Hey. And tomorrow, we will have an exclusive interview with the widow of the real American sniper, Chris Kyle. Taya Kyle will join me exclusively. That's on tomorrow's The Real Story.